Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Taru and today it is time for the sixth update in the Zodiac Panel Project Pan and this was created by Kena from Kena's Closet for the Fantastic Ladies and uh, it's a year long project pan. It goes from 20th, 20th of March to 20th of March and so we still have a few months left and uh, yeah there are colors for each each zodiac sign <laughs> speaking is difficult and then we just pick products for the colors and pen them and i decided to do it all eyeshadow as did many others so this is basically project for hitting pants on eyeshadows and uh yeah, let's just go through what I have left. I've already hit three pounds previously and I uh, have something to show you this time as well. So first up we still have Aries and that is red and it comes from this Revolution Neutrals versus Neutral palette. Let's save the brush out before I drop it. And you can see a lot of pants but not in the one we are working with. So. That is uh, the shadow and uh, there is slight dip but nowhere near pan. I've used it total seven times twice since the last update so mm, it's gonna take a while but we're getting there, getting there. And I meant to work on that a bit more during this time of the year but I well, you saw it, two uses, that's not much, but anyways, and then we go to, and we skip Cancer because I haven't used that one, uh, Leo, orange and yellow, and that comes from the Trendy in Tokyo from the Edge, and it's the orange one over here, and you can see we have pan in that. It's a tiny pan, but it's pan nonetheless. So I have used it total 11 times and only twice since the last update. So I was very close and now there's a pan. And I'm sorry about the lighting. It's um, it's 12 o'clock. It's midday, but it's so dark. I had to put on some extra light and it's not that great. But anyway. Will manage. Then we go to Virgo, green and dark brown, and it is from this Odensei Burg palette, and it is this shimmery green here, and uh, you can see there is a dip, and that is also what's on my lids today, and uh, these are the days that I hate my hooded eyes because this was so pretty when I put it on and I had to use a glitter glue because you know, otherwise it wouldn't stick but a few minutes later it transfers up to my crease and then it kind of peels off from the lid and it's just not as pretty <laughs> so I should maybe try and use like a setting spray right after I or something is it's a shame because it looked so pretty and now it does not I don't know if you can tell but it's like yeah maybe it's looking a bit better on camera I don't know but anyways we're here <laughs> how many times I have used a total nine times twice since the last update so there you have it no pan yet but if I use it a few times like this probably should okay then we go to Libra pink pale green and various shades of blue and I have another shade from this palette and it is uh, this green over here and you can see a tiny dip in there and that is what I have on my inner corners so I used a tiny brush and that's why the dip looks like that but I have used it Last update I hadn't used it, so I have used it now two times. 
from two months ago. <laughs> so total eight. And uh, yeah, it's nice. I like the shade, but I just haven't used it at that much. Then we go to Scorpio, Deep Red and Maroon. And it comes from this Revolution Courage palette. And it is this maroon and you can see the tiniest tiniest little bit of pan i ate this pan yesterday i think and then i was like i should use it one more time to make the pan bigger but then i wanted to use the green and it was not appropriate for this look so yeah tiniest tiniest pan and it only took six uses to hit that pan since the last update because these are the shallowest pan pants I've ever seen so yeah I knew it wouldn't take long but yeah and I also use kind of a again smaller brush in the crease so that was an easy pan but I will use it one more time before I like put this palette back to my collection because that is just too small for my liking <laughs> Then we go to Sagittarius, rich purples and dark blues, and we go to this Odin's Eye palette with uh, Annette, and um, it's this guy over here, and I've used it total six times, once since actually two updates ago, and I have it on my outer corners today, but you can't really tell, <laughs> but yeah not really a dip in like yeah some disturbance but yeah i'll probably start using it more this time of the year so but i have no idea no idea how deep these pants are so we're gonna be surprised one day hopefully uh aquarius well yeah i have not used it it's the this blue over here bad choice in my part because my panda palette is taking a lot longer than I wanted to and I'm working on the turquoise shimmer moving on to the last one Pisces sea green and we go back to this palette and uh, it's over here and can't even you can't even oh my goodness can't see my pan there maybe there tiny glimmer of pan um but yes it is there <laughs> promise <laughs> i hit pan on this one which was kind of my goal because i used it with my panda palette as a transition shade it took 14 uses i used it four times since the last update so yeah it was the first shade i used so i used quite a lot at a time and uh yeah, these are like medium deep pans, so this shouldn't be too hard to pan on either, but yeah. So we have three new pans. This one, the orange one, and the maroon. So three pans this time, three pans previously, so we're halfway through, which is exciting. So... For the next update, I should probably work on the red and these two that's on my eyes. And uh, yeah, we basically have a greens and blues and one red left. And I'm not mad about it. So, because obviously these light ones are perfect spring colors for March as well. So. Yeah, that's everything for this update and hopefully next time I will have some pans to show you as well. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!